just in case anybody listening hasn't heard of systematic theology before, what is it and why is it so important? Well, it's answering what the whole Bible says about different topics. What does the whole Bible say about angels? What does the whole Bible say about the deity of Christ? What does the whole Bible say about salvation and how people can come to know forgiveness of sins and personal fellowship with God? What is God like? Uh, is he, what is his wrath? What is his jealousy? What is his mercy? What is his omnipresence? Any questions that people have about God and who he is, who he is and who he is, what he has done for us, how he relates to us, those are the subjects that come under the general heading of systematic theology. Systematic yeah. means organized. Well organized by topics. Yeah. And if somebody already owns the first edition, is it worth their while investing and in getting the second edition? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> well, they're uh, 295 pages. It's 295 pages longer. So um, the additional material, there's um, there are specific sections now that interact with contemporary Roman Catholic theology and the catechism of the Catholic Church and explaining where evangelical Protestants would di would differ with our Catholic friends on some points of doctrine. Uh, there is a section on Protestant liberalism. Liberalism would be people in the academic or religious world who don't think the Bible is the word of God, but just human writings. And uh, I explain where liberalism and evangelicalism differ. There's a section on Mormonism and what perspective Mormons have on different doctrinal positions and how that would differ from evangelicalism. I have new, um, new material on open theism, the idea that God doesn't know the future, new material on the new perspective on Paul, uh, as promulgated especially by N.T. Wright, who's a British scholar, um, more material on um, guidance by the Holy Spirit, uh, more material on... Um, the need for repentance in the Christian life as opposed to what's called the free grace movement. Um, all the Bible quotations in the whole book are changed from the Revised Standard Version to the ESV, the English Standard Version. Um, so, uh, and we've added, we had, uh, we had a hymn at the end of each chapter and I've added a contemporary worship song to the, each, to, to the end of each chapter along with the hymns which are retained. Yeah. 